This is my team's robot. Its name is Stitch. The large motors at the bottom of the robot controls its movement and allows it to move. The large motors at the top control the cage doors where it will catch the victims in the evacuation zone. One of the top motors also controls the rescue kit holder. The colour sensors allow the robot to line trace and the infrared sensor helps in the obstacle detection. When the IR sensor senses the object using proximity, it will manoeuvre around the object and continue the line tracing. The colour sensors and the bottom motors makes the robot move while tracing the line. We use P-line tracing, also known as proportional line tracing, as it can keep the line between the two colour sensors so the robot can stay on the line. If both sensors sense the value of 20 of reflected light, it will reverse and switch to colour sensing. If the left sensor sends green, it will turn left. If the right sensor sends green, it will turn right. If both sensors sense green, it will do a 180 degrees turn. After completing the turn, it will continue with its reflected light proportional line tracing. When the robot's color sensor senses red, the robot will enter the evacuation zone. The robot's cage will open together with the cage holding the rescue kit. There is a mechanism that connects the robot's cage together with the cage holding the rescue kit. The robot will start to sweep around the evacuation zone, picking up the survivors and dropping them into the evacuation point. Then the robot will exit through the chosen exit strip. This journey was tough but full for us. We have learned many new things. Including P9 Tracing and Studio 2.0. We learned the actual part names and their functions. We made new friends and learned the skill of active design. <laughs> Though there were disagreements, we managed to overcome it. Thank you. Thank you.